Hey guys, in this video I'm gonna show you how did I upgrade my CR-10S to reach 135 degrees in 3 minutes and 17 seconds. To do this awesome upgrade, we're gonna need a solid state relay, insulation material, and 750 watt, 220 volt AC powered silicon heater. First, I take off the paper clip, holding the glass plate, or in my case, ultra base. Then I move it on the side. Then we need to unscrew the four screws holding the aluminum heated bed. Then I take off all four springs. Then I unplug AC power cord and heat bed plug cable. Next, we need to remove this heat resistant tape. Who is holding the thermistor underneath? We need a clean surface on this aluminum heated bed. Next step, we need to unsolder these 12 volt DC powered wires because we're not gonna use it. The silicon heated bed already comes with the wires pre attached, so we're gonna use that one. Here, just cleaning the rest of the tin and a little bit of alcohol, I cleaned the whole heated bed. And now it's time to install the silicon heater. It's holding with a 3M tape. So we need to peel off this first layer. And since this silicon heater is a flexible, I put it on the table and then I just lower the aluminum plate in the center. Then I apply the pressure from the center till edges to spread the glue on the tape. This will make 3M tape bond much better across the whole surface. This silicon heater is actually made from the CR10 or CR10S, so it has the holes already drilled where the screws are, so it's a pretty nice fit. And now we need to open the control box. There is a four screws holding the power supply on the side and there is a five screws on the bottom. We need to take those out. All right, the bottom just slides down and now we need to remove the power supply. And let me just take off this spool holder. And now we need to find the place where we can install the relay. And I found these two holes on power supply match perfectly. Here you can use some double side tape to hold this relay in a place. But I'm gonna apply these two screws, very short one. But be very careful here because if the screws are too long, you can short out the power supply. Next, we need to disassemble this heated bed plug. Inside the heated bed plug, we're gonna find the four wires. Black and red wire are for heated bed, and the two white ones are for thermistor. We need to unsolder them. Then I measure the heated bed cable with the old one, and I cut the extra wires. And now I solder the AC new wire to the DC old heated bed wire because my plan is to replace the wire directly inside this cable housing. So I just pull the old wire out and the new one will replace it. Like so. And here I'm gonna apply some tape over the thermistor wire to the new wires from our AC silicon heater. And I'm gonna pull it out exactly like before. Thank you. 
Alright, now the wires are replaced inside this cable housing and now we need to unsolder them. Alright, here on the socket we have the four holes. Number one and two are for heated bed, so we need to solder them. And number three and four are for thermistor. And here, just for extra safety, I'm gonna apply some insulation tape. And then I'm gonna slide this plastic tube, screw in back of the plug, and reattach these two screws. Alright, and it looks good. Next step, we're gonna install the insulation material. I'm gonna use this glue, so I'm just gonna apply it around the whole surface in a thin layer. Don't miss around the holes and around the edges. Next, slowly drop insulation material on the silicone heater and then slowly apply the pressure in the center first then spread it across the whole surface to the edges. Now apply some glass or ultra base over the insulation material and apply some weight and wait a couple hours for glue to cure. Now these heated bed cables are connected to the DC power supply and to the MOSFET. We need to disconnect them. And now these two cables from the heated bed are now the AC cable. First we're gonna connect one side to the relay. And then we're gonna reuse the cable that we got from heated bed before that we cut. We're gonna make the small connection like so. And one side we're gonna put at the input of the relay. And other side we're gonna plug in the AC side of the power supply. It doesn't matter which one, it's just important that it's not the ground. After installing, just pull it like so and double check your connection, it's very important for the AC side. And then the second cable from the heated bed, AC side, goes here to the AC side of the power supply. So now the loop of AC is closed. Double check your connection. Next, we need the two cables, which will give the signal to the solid state relay when to turn on and when to turn off. Next, apply the plastic protector over the solid state relay. Next, unscrew the two screws on the motherboard connector. This is going to be our control to the relay, so every time the relay needs to be on or off, this is how it's going to be controlled. Alright, then double check your connections. And now we're going to disconnect the heated bed MOSFET because we don't going to use it no more. Instead we're going to use this solid state relay to power the heated bed. And this power supply also you can replace for example with a much smaller one because you're not going to be pulling any current near as high as before and the AC main power will come from the relay directly to the AC heated bed that we just installed. So you can practically install even less than 10 amps power supply and keep this 30 amp power supply from some other project. But for now I'm just gonna reinstall it. Here it's a bit tricky so you have to push the side of the control box and the power supply in the same time like so. Careful with the cables and then reinstall the power supply screws. And double check your connections. Everything looks good. And then reinstall the bottom of the control box.
and then reinstall the spool holder. Next step is to reinstalling these adjusting heat bed screws. You can screw them directly to this insulation sheet because it's very fragile. To hold the wires in the same place, I'm going to install this wire holder made from the CR10 that I downloaded from Thingiverse. Next step is to reinstall the heat bed. Reinstall the springs under each screw. And now I'm going to install the cable holder. And then I'm going to push the heat bed cable underneath around the adjusting screw and then through the cable holder out. And then I'm going to put one cable ties just to hold the cables in a place. And two more cable ties to hold heat bed cables in a place. Then just apply this small cover on. And then reinstall the glass plate. And then attach paper clips. Plug your heated bed. And plug in your AC cable. And we are done. And now finally let's test our new setup. I have the watt meter and I have the count watch. Let's increase the temperature to 135 degrees, which is maximum allowed on the CR10. And let's see in what time we're gonna reach the maximum temperature using our new AC 750 watt heater. Go! Alright, our new system are pulling 750 watts from the wall. Temperature increasing rapidly. We already hit 40 degrees under 20 seconds. And look at this, we are at 50 degrees in 27 seconds, compared to the 4 minutes and 35 seconds on the standard CR10 or CR10S. A huge improvement, 100 degrees at 1 minute and 47 seconds, which was not even reachable with the standard CR10 or CR10S. And now we hit 135 degrees in 3 minutes 17 seconds and that is awesome. The relay now switch off the current, we can see on a wattmeter and now the current is back on which means the temperature is stable, relay is working and this upgrade is very successful and I'm very happy with the results. Not only that now we can reach the temperature that before was unreachable, we have also increased so much more the heated bed time. And I think this is the best upgrade for CR10S and I can definitely recommend it. Alright guys. That was my video about how to upgrade heated bed on the CR10S or the CR10. I think this was a pretty cool project, great results. I'm gonna leave all the links for all the parts in the video description. Feel free to subscribe, share and like. And until next time, take care and happy printing. Bye bye.